Hey guys, uh, another Saturday, <clears throat> working on a Honda CRV. It's 2000. Um, the clutch pedals all the way to the floor. Can't get it in and out of gear. Initially, it was reported that the clutch was bad, but um, that's usually a sign of either you need to bleed the slave cylinder or it's bad. <clears throat> I wasn't going to do this video because it was slave cylinders usual pretty strip, pretty straightforward. If you look down there. It's this green line right here goes to the slave cylinder. It's two two bolts that hold it in. Then you put the new one in and bleed it. Um, you can see the bleeder valve is right there. And then that's the slave cylinder. Pretty straightforward. I put it up on the lift, but there's a cross member as you can see and right underneath it can't even get to anything on it. So it's easier to do from above. The reason why I decided to go ahead and do this was... Um, yeah, that's why. So again, the reason why I decided to go ahead and do this was I wanted to show you that there's two bolts. I've already taken one out. Um, before we take the second one out, you want to loosen up that brake line. And it's metric. It's a 2000 Honda, so um, it's going to be metric no matter what. And you want to loosen that before you take both your bolts out. But once you loosen that, you're going to start draining your brake fluid because... Um, this, the uh, clutch cylinder, slave cylinder, is connected to the master cylinder. Uh, oh, maybe not. Oh, well, restart that thought process. It's uh, it's actually not. Usually they are, but this time it's not. Heh, I stand corrected. A lot of times on the newer cars, especially Subarus, they use the brake fluid for the... Uh, clutch so it comes out of the same reservoir but I just noticed it when I looked over there so I stand corrected um, we're gonna go ahead and pop it off then what I was gonna say is you want to have your other component ready so that you can put it on as quickly as possible so you don't just dump all your fluid on the ground I do have a pan underneath because I was preparing for that these pans from AutoZone are really handy um, I don't know I've had it for years but they're galvanized so they last for a long time anyway I'm gonna go ahead and uh, loosen up that brake line and then I'm sorry that uh clutch fluid line and then take the main unit off and then uh, get it out and we'll look at it. You know, hopefully you can see that and once that line comes off it just drains the fluid which is fine you get the old fluid out of there. <clears throat> it's also an interesting way to uh, pre-bleed it. You always want to do final bleeding but um, when you put the new part on you uh, can open up the bleeder valve and just let it flow through and it pushes all the air out naturally. Then you close it, uh, fill up with, with fluid, and then go ahead and bleed it like normal. You know, pump it up a few times and push it out that way. Anyway, we're going to look at this guy over here. This is the this is the old. This is the new. It's a Adler made in Japan, so it should be pretty darn close to being right. But you can see she was uh, she was bleeding out pretty good. And just me, just me squeezing on that, it's like, yeah, bad news. All right, we'll put this guy on and see how it does. And my friend let me borrow his inspection, his bore scope inspection camera. I was going to try and look inside the uh, clutch belt housing to see what the clutch condition was. I tried, I pulled the inspection plate off right here. It's hard to see, but there's three little bolts. It just shows the back of the flywheel. And no matter how I manipulated the camera, I couldn't see in the... I saw the throwout bearing, but I couldn't see the clutch itself. And I don't see a... Oops. I don't see a inspection. Usually there's a little rubber boot for inspection. But it didn't look too terribly dirty in there. So I'm going to go ahead and put this guy back on and see how the clutch works and see where the pedal's at. But, uh... A little bit of grease. I don't know if you can see down there. Anyway. Put a little bit of grease on the point of contact where the throw bear I'm sorry, the slave cylinder hits the arm there and just wanted to let you know. Um, effectively this point right here, but inside so there won't be any weird grinding or anything. Okay, so what I'm doing right here is I've got the clear 
line. It's important to have clear so you can watch for fluid. You don't want to suck any fluid up. I've got it connected to the bleeder and then I am sucking on the clear line and opening the bleeder and pulling fluid through the line um, because if you look the, the line from the clutch master cylinder goes up the firewall and across and then down so you'll never be able to bleed it that way without sucking fluid through the line. So I'm sucking the, sucking the clear, clear line, opening the bleeder, and then it pulls fluid through, and then I close it when I get tired of sucking on it, and then, or when the fluid gets up close to my mouth. That's why you need to have a clear line, so you can make sure that you don't get fluid in your mouth, because that brake fluid is nasty. There is a tool for this, but I'm too cheap to buy it, so this is the redneck way.